Zion Gilliam Beck shoots around in his driveway without a care in the world. He has no clue he was bullied yesterday. There was a young man in Grants Lane that posted a picture of Zion on Snapchat. Tiffany Beck adopted Zion four years ago. With her permission, we're only showing you this photo for context. Another student took this photo of him washing his hands in the restroom and posted it on Snapchat, mocking his autism and calling him the N-word. This photo spread quickly. There are so many people who are upset and outraged. Um, I, I understand that, but I'm so thankful that it will never hurt him or bother him, the things that were said, because he doesn't understand. Grand Celine released a statement saying that they've been made aware of the post and even labeled the post as vicious. They say that racial bigotry and bullying has no place in the district, and also that the student who made the post is being held accountable per their student code of conduct. I'm just blown away by their support. It's really made me think more about the other young man and and his family and and what he's probably going through. Growing up autistic, Beck says Zion was in and out of foster homes. Born weighing just one pound, one ounce, the nutrient deficient infant sits before us now as a vibrant 18 year old. He's been on vacation, been to prom and soon graduation. He's excited to graduate next month and see what adulthood has to offer. But in the meantime, he'll just keep shooting in Mineola. Shondell Menees, CBS 19.